This video is about linear regression. Imagine you are looking for a new house, and you want to know what price you can expect. You know that a larger house costs more than a smaller house. An even bigger accommodation will cost even more. In general, you expect a linear relationship between the size of the house and the price we'll have to pay. So wouldn't it be great if we had an algorithm that could guess the price for any given size? More generally, can we learn the specifics of a linear relation between an input x and an output y? Let's visualize what we want in a diagram. We are looking for a linear function that given an input x computes an output y. The relation between x and y should be linear, so the output y can be computed as the sum between an initial offset weight w0 and the input x multiplied by a weight w1. This linear function defines a line in the xy plane and the two weights w0 and w1 define its vertical offset and its slope, respectively. Different weights therefore define where the line is placed. Now, since there are an infinite number of possible weights, we ask the question differently. Given some example data points, can we find the line that best represents the data? Note that we do not assume that the data lines up perfectly. Instead, we are merely interested in the line that best fits the data. One way to go about it is to try a few options, subjectively choose one of them. You may pause the video to think for yourself which of the displayed lines best represents the data. In this example, with these data points, the red line fits best. However, we want to be more rigorous. We want to define precisely what we mean by best and find the numerically optimal solution. We therefore define an error for the prediction. Specifically, for all samples in our data, we compute the difference between the actual value y and the predicted value for y, y hat. Here, the predicted value of y is given by the weights that define the line. We can therefore mathematically formulate the task of finding the best line as finding the weights that minimize the approximation error for all data points. In particular, for a given dataset D, we can define the squared error loss L as the sum over the squared error terms to get a measure of how bad a given approximation fits the data. Note that we take the squared error here to ensure that every error is always counted positively. We could take the absolute value of the error alternatively, however, the squared error is often preferred as it allows for a closed form solution. Given the loss function, our task can now be formulated as an optimization problem. We are interested in finding the weights that minimize the loss function. Please pause and think how you would solve this problem. From calculus we know that the minimum is attained at the location where the gradient is zero. We can therefore take the derivative of the loss function and set it to zero. Looking at the case of w0 first, let's write out the loss function given the weights w0 and w1. If we take the derivative with respect to w0, we get the following formula. We can now take this formula and set it to 0. Dividing both sides by minus 2 to eliminate the unnecessary factor and pulling w0 out of the sum we get to the following. Here we used n to denote the number of data points in our dataset D. Rearranging and dividing by n. We can solve for w0. We can further split the sum on the left. We can see that the optimal value for w0 is given by the difference between the average y value and w1 times the average x value of our dataset. Similarly, we can differentiate the loss with respect to w1, set it to 0 and solve for w1 to find the optimal weight w1. This gives us an optimal set of weights for the simple case where a single input x needs to be mapped to an output y. Note that these can be calculated simply by taking the averages over the dataset. Given that we minimized the squared error term, this set of weights is also known as the ordinary least square estimate, or OLS in short. What we discussed so far is how to find the weights of a linear map that given a scalar input x can give a corresponding output y. This in itself is already quite powerful since we can estimate the price of a house based on its size. However, in the real world the price of the house is influenced by many other factors, for example its distance to the city center. We can account for these additional factors by assigning them a separate weight such that they are accounted for in our estimation. 
More generally, given inputs xi, we seek weights wi, such that we can estimate the output y hat as a weighted sum of the inputs. If we model the inputs and weights as vectors, where we added an additional one to the x vector to account for the offset, this can be nicely written as a simple vector dot product. Here, the input vector x is what is commonly referred to as features, while the weight vector w gives the weights of the regression. Finding the best vector of weights given a set of n input vectors x is what is referred to as the linear regression problem. If we have two inputs x1 and x2, we can formulate this problem visually as finding the plane that best matches the points in the three-dimensional input-output space. For higher dimensions we are analogously looking for a hyperplane in the input-output space. If we take the vector representation of our inputs and stack all input vectors in our dataset together, we can represent all inputs in our dataset by a single matrix X. This is also known as the design matrix of the regression problem. Similarly, we can take the n scalar outputs Y in our dataset and stack them into an output vector. Taking these shorthand notations, we can use linear algebra notation and represent our loss function in a compact matrix vector notation. With a similar deduction as before, we can find that the optimal set of weights are given by this formula. Note that any framework that allows for matrix operations can be used to directly translate this formula into code, such that we can calculate the OLS weights for any dataset. Let's summarize the main insights of this video. We have looked at linear regression, or how to estimate weights based on observed data. For a single input dimension, we can visualize the error of the linear approximation. Minimizing the squared error over all data points gives us the ordinary least square solution. For multiple input dimensions, a similar deduction can be made to get a closed form solution for the vector of weights. This weight vector can then be used to make predictions for any vector of input features x. Thanks for watching this video.